Hey guys, let's talk about Noble Hierarch, a card that I loved as a speculation, as a princess, and along with Malera and Philia, they were the three cards I have said time and time again, this is something you need to pick up. When I looked at Noble Hierarch, I purchased a ton of them around the M14 uh, Gatecrash. And I knew that it would be good because at that time Modern actually had a Pro Tour. Modern was expanding and this card was being played in multiple Tier 1 decks at the time. Including, um, in fact, most notably, it's always been that one go-to card in Infect. Then it spiked. I think we had like Pod or Malera Pod or something like Cord or Kiki Cord. Some type of uh, combo deck which then spiked its price initially. Then it went all the way down during Origins and Dragons because it was reprinted in the Modern Masters of that set. So it then goes down because it's a reprint and now it's going back up again. This card is very, very good. It is as necessary as fetch lands for some decks. It's as good as fetch lands for some decks. It's not going to win you the game, but it's going to do so much to help you. It's going to do so much to push up the tempo of the game. Especially for the Infect deck, which I associate this card most closely with, but obviously it sees play in Death uh, Shadow, Shadow Zoo, I believe it's deck, or Deathless Zoo. And it's amazing. It's amazing that deck, and that deck has shown that it puts up, it puts up very strong results. So again, this is why we have another spike on this card. Overall, it's one of those cards that if you got in at the right point, uh, no, at no point in the future will it be cheaper than $20, even if they reprint it again. The same with Filia. Filia will never be a $2 or $1.50 card again. And Malera is never going to be a dollar card. I still remember all those good times where I used to pick up Malera for under a dollar and I would complain about it because I couldn't pick up Filia for under two. Because at that point, Filia was like $2.05 like or something. And that's the same with Noble Hierarch. I really wish I could go back in time, obviously we all could, and pick up more of these. And I knew, I knew my gut feeling that at $20, there was no way I can lose on this particular card. Even it was reprinted, and it was reprinted. So does it need to reprint in Modern Masters 2017? Yes, I hope it does get a reprint in Modern Masters 2017, because that means I can pick up a few more copies for less than $72, which would be great, pick up a... You know, a few more play sets, but definitely a card that I love. And a card that if you have, realize that it's not a $30, not a $40 card anymore. And until it gets a reprint, it won't be a $34 card anymore. It'll be closer to $70, $60. $60 at a minimal. Unless something like, even after the uh, modern GPs are over, it'll still be $60, no problem. Really good in the ED8s as well. Anyway. Leave me a comment below. Uh, did, did you pick up these play sets? If you did, what price did you pick them up? Are you going to pick any of these up? Is Do you feel like now is a good time to buy? Are you going to sell them? Anyway, bye guys.